Hi guys, Gina here. If you don't know who I am, welcome. I am an internationally award-winning and published pet photographer, and I'm located right here in Portland, Maine. I am the creator, owner, and main photographer for Gina Soul Photo, my pet photography company. And I have had the pleasure of being Maine's pet photographer of the year for the last two years. So I can't thank you guys enough. I figured I would give you guys a little background insight into one of my absolute favorite locations to bring my clients. I am currently at Wolf's Neck State Park and I figured I would show you some of my favorite scenes to bring clients and some of the magic we can create together. One of the most common questions I get from my clients is, Gina, where should I have my photos taken? And really it comes down to two things. The first is the client's vision. Do you envision hanging a beautiful sunset piece on the beach with your dog on your wall? Or are you more of a wooded type of person where you would like your dog to be posed in beautiful gold an hour amongst the mossy woodland. You know, it's really up to the client's preference and what you have dreamed up for your dog's photo shoot. The next thing would be your dog's comfort level. There's dogs of all personality levels and whether they're super outgoing and playful, maybe they're a little more reserved, or they might even be reactive around other people or dogs. Wolf's Neck State Park offers not only a great change in both location because it offers woodland and beach scenery, but also is good for dogs of all personalities, whether your dog be very outgoing or a little more timid. Any client that has done a photo shoot with me, and if we do a wooded photo shoot, knows I have an obsession with moss. There's just something about the beautiful greens of the main woodland moss that I absolutely adore and love incorporating into photos. Here is one of my favorite little secret locations. I bring almost all my clients that I bring to Wolf Neck State Park to. You can see how gorgeous it is back here. I will do a lot of my photos here. You can see this beautiful line right here with this little log going across. Normally, it's a super cloudy day today, but the sun is shining beautifully at sunset through here, and we get some fantastic golden hour photos, which I will insert here for you to see. So here is another one of my favorite locations, especially for smaller dogs. You can see this beautiful angle that this tree has is covered in really lovely moss. Now when it's golden hour, it's obviously pretty cloudy out today. The sun shines down be beautifully from here and it highlights the dog fantastically well and kind of lends itself to very warm golden images. And the moss, as you can see, the light hits it right here. So everything is just absolutely gorgeous. And I will show you a photo that I took here with little Sersha, the Jack Russell Terrier. So with every really big dramatic shot, sometimes the simple shots are some of the most beautiful. And especially for our older or less active or mobile pups, these are perfect. But this is actually one of my favorite spots. And you can see this line right here that comes up through. And I will show you a picture of Walker that I took here from earlier this summer. Lastly, one of the most breathtaking parts of Wolf Neck State Park is this beautiful rocky coastline that's pretty typical to Maine. Um, a lot can be done here, whether it's low tide like it is now or high tide. Some of my favorite shots I've captured are at sunset right through this beautiful little arch that the trees make between the islands. Um, that looks really beautiful with dogs of any color and size. Also, just because there's no water doesn't mean that we can't create some magic. So I have taken some shots here on this rock with the seaweed with Duncan Marshmallow, the therapy golden, and they were absolutely beautiful and he was such a treat to photograph. Lastly, if you guys see, the beach does extend further over here and it goes all the way around this island. This is a great place at low tide to take some fun action shots or even to have your dog get in the water if they like playing fetch or like swimming. We can really capture their personalities here and kind of get some great images of them playing and just being themselves. Okay, so we're starting to lose light, which I'll take as my key to stop this video because I could keep going on with all the awesome locations to shoot here at Wolf Neck State Park. As you guys can see, there's a great variety of options, whether it be beach photos, 
playing in water photos or even woodland photos. I hope this gave you guys a really fun insight into the background of kind of what I look for in scenes and also the type of images that we can create. If you and your pups are interested in a photo shoot, you can email me at genosoulphoto at gmail.com or go ahead and visit my website, which is www.genosoulphoto.com and shoot me a message on there and I'll get right back to you. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.